Never ignore a process like this, because this method can actually make you rich. We're talking about gold-plated e-waste, and today, we'll extract real gold from it. Hey guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. So, let's begin by putting all these tower parts into a large container. We'll start our process step by step. First, we'll arrange everything properly, making sure each piece is placed perfectly. Now, we'll begin adding chemicals. The first one is nitric acid, but this time we're not adding any water. Usually, we add water, but not today, because these components are extremely strong. Next, we'll pour in some HF acid and light a fire beneath the container. This will help start the chemical reaction faster. At first, you might not see any boiling, but after a few moments, look closely. It starts to boil. Now, we'll close the lid and wait for about an hour. After an hour, our process is almost halfway done. We'll now add some water to neutralize the acid's strength and pour the used acid into a filter. If there's any small amount of gold in it, it will stay trapped in the filter, while the waste acid will drain below. We'll wash the materials three to four times. Then add new acid and refresh the process once again. Now, let's move on to the second round. Once again, we'll pour nitric acid into the container making sure every piece is fully covered in the acid. We'll mix it well, and this time, add just a little bit of HF acid again. Remember, you can use as much nitric acid as you need, but always use less HF acid, as it's very strong. Now it's morning, a new day. We'll pour in some fresh water and our process is almost complete. Let's filter it once again to see if there's still any gold left. After checking, it looks like most of the gold is already recovered, but to be sure, we'll transfer everything into a smaller container and wash it properly. As you can see, look at this. We've extracted a large amount of gold already. You can do this too. Whether you're in the USA, UK, or Canada, you can find these tower parts anywhere and extract gold just like this. Now, just to be extra sure, we'll add nitric acid one more time for a final round. We'll light the fire again and leave it for a while. Then, we'll add a small amount of HF acid as well. We'll also wash the filters. And look at that! Even in the filters, we've got more gold! Next, we'll use a magnet to remove any leftover iron. If we find any small traces of iron, we'll put those parts back into the nitric acid and that will clean everything up. As you can see, it's boiling again. And once the process is complete, we'll check with the magnet one last time. No more iron left. Perfect. Now we'll filter it, wash it two to three times, and let it dry.
Today, we're not using mercury. We'll directly melt the gold because there's too much of it. And we don't have enough mercury to handle it all. Now that everything's dry, we'll place small portions of gold into a clay pot for melting. If we pour it all at once, it could evaporate due to heat and air. So we'll melt it slowly, piece by piece. This melting process takes around 30 minutes, but we'll fast forward it for you so you don't get bored. Some people ask why we touch mercury without gloves. But let me tell you, this is safe mercury, not the poisonous type that can't be touched. So, those who keep asking in the comments, there's your answer. Now, as you can see, everything has melted beautifully. The gold has started forming into a solid ball, pure, shiny, and heavy. We'll heat it a little longer to make it even purer. Then sprinkle some borax powder on top to add that perfect shine. Finally, we'll remove it from the pot, cool it in water, and here it is. 24 karat pure gold. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and share it with your friends and family. Also, leave a lovely comment and tell us where you're watching from. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.